Taking a live look at Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Law enforcement still at the home of Roger Stone hours after he was arrested overnight. It's another major indictment from the special counsel looking into Russian interference in the 2016 presidential campaign. ABC's Lana Zak is live for us from Washington, D.C. Lana. Good morning to you, Brian and Virginia. This is big breaking news, as you can imagine, here in Washington. Roger Stone, the president's longtime confidant and sometimes political advisor, being arrested this morning in Florida. Uh, he uh, is now expected to be in court later today at around 11 o'clock in the morning. Stone has been indicted on seven counts, including one count of obstruction of an official proceeding, five counts of false statements, and one count of witness tampering. The special counsel's indictment is largely largely related to his alleged contact with WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange. Stone has told ABC News multiple times that he never met or spoke with Assange and has no intermediary providing a back channel to communicate with the controversial WikiLeaks founder, but the court documents released today indicate otherwise, alleging that there was some coordination between WikiLeaks and the Trump campaign. Stone's attorney giving ABC News this statement today, quote, there was no Russia collusion. They're charging Roger Stone with lying to Congress about something he honestly forgot about. Stone had been an advisor to President Trump's campaign, but left amid controversy back in 2015. We are still poring over all of the elements in this long indictment document, and we'll continue to bring you all of the breaking details. Reporting live from Washington, Lana Zak, 10 News. Brian, yeah. Virginia, back to you. Thank you, Lana. And you know, it doesn't look like President Trump himself has responded to this arrest yet. It's certainly not on Twitter. And as you know, in December, he sent out that tweet praising Stone. That's right, Virginia. We have been watching. I actually have my phone right next to me uh, trying to see if President Trump does, in fact, have anything specific to tweet back in December. As you mentioned, he said that it's nice to see that some people still have guts referring to Roger Stone after Stone said that he would not testify against the president. We did hear just moments ago, though, from White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. She said that the indictments have nothing to do with the president or the White House. Brian, Virginia. All right, we'll be watching for that response. We appreciate the update, Lana. Yeah, you know we will.